And I just want to make my contribution one more time to share some ideas I think that might be helpful. And if you've got your uh, paper ready and your pen, your pencil ready to take some notes, uh, you might want to take some notes on some of these ideas to make this a good year for you. Remember, the viable difference is not the products because they're the same. The difference for you in Herbalife is not the marketing because it's the same for everybody. The difference in Herbalife is not the support system because it's the same. Mark Hughes is the same for all of us. Uh, the difference is not time because time is the same, 24 hours a day. But the variable in how your life works out, the kind of life you experience, the effect you have on other people, the influence you have uh, on other people, that variable, of course, is you. Key phrase to remember, the major key to your better future is you. The major key is not the company. The major key is not the country. Uh, the major key is not the political system you might live under. But the major key to your better future is you. It's you and what happens to you. What you learn from what happens, what you do about what happens, the plan you've got for the future, you are the variable. And when I found out I could make a major difference in my own future, uh, I met a great teacher when I was 25 years old. And of course, I had all the excuses at the time. I'd been working six years as to why I was not doing well. I blamed the government. I blamed circumstances. I blamed taxes. Prices are too high. Things cost too much. I had the usual list. Uh, didn't have the opportunity. Didn't have the breaks. Uh, didn't happen for me like it happened for someone else. All those usual excuses. Then I found out from my very wise teacher that the major key to my future was not going to be changing all the things I thought needed to be changed, like the tax structure and the government structure and the price structure and circumstances, that all I had to do was to take all of that that inevitably happens to all of us and make personal changes, that I could become the power. I could become the major factor in my future. And when I found out that that was possible, it was hard for me to sleep that first year. I got so excited that I finally discovered I could make a major change in my own life and that I could be the major factor in my destiny and all the rest. Uh, if you blame the government and you say, well, it's got to change before I can change, you know, then that may be impossible. If you blame the economy, it's got to change before I can change, then who knows how long that'll take. And when I finally gave up that list of blaming all these other factors and said, hey, it's me, then I got very excited because me was something I could do something about. You know, I couldn't do anything about the economy. How could I change the banking structure? You know, how could I change circumstances that are inevitable for all of us? Couldn't do that. But if you understand that you are the major factor and there's something you can do about yourself, you can change your goals. You can change location. You're not a tree. You're not stuck. Uh, you're not an animal driven by instinct in the genetic code. You have the ability to think, ponder, reason, gather ideas, and make major changes in your own personal life. And when I found out that, it was hard to sleep that first year. I got so excited about accepting that uh, responsibility for personal change.